Understanding disaster resilience means focusing on ways that we can improve a community's chance of adapting to future natural hazards. It's an essential part of natural hazard preparedness, response and recovery. This is where the Australian Disaster Resilience Index comes in. The Index is an exciting new website from the Bushfire and Natural Hazards Cooperative Research Centre. It's the first national snapshot of the capacities for disaster resilience in Australian communities and is based on extensive research from the University of New England, led by Dr Melissa Parsons and developed by UNE's Data Transformation Hub. It allows a new exploration of disaster resilience on a local, regional and national scale. This tried and tested website is now ready to use. Anyone with an interest in understanding disaster resilience can jump in and access reliable research-based information about the disaster resilience of communities across Australia. There are many social, economic and institutional capacities that contribute to disaster resilience, which work together to build a picture of resilience for each community. The index helps us understand these capacities and how they differ from place to place. This will help communities, emergency services, governments and businesses work together to prepare for, cope with and adapt to natural hazards, such as bushfires, floods, storms and earthquakes. The Australian Disaster Resilience Index structure has three levels. The first is an overall index of disaster resilience. The second is a sub-index of coping capacity and adaptive capacity. The third level includes the eight factors that make up coping and adaptive capacity. Coping capacity is made up of six factors. Social character, economic capital, emergency services, planning and the built environment, community capital and information access. Adaptive capacity is made up of two factors social and community engagement, and governance and leadership. Now that we know a bit about its structure, let's jump into the website. To access the Australian Disaster Resilience Index, go to www.adri.bnhcrc.com.au. Here you can explore maps and download data reports about disaster resilience in Australia, including different states and territories or local areas. You can discover the strengths and barriers to resilience in these areas and learn more about the research behind the index. You can view the composite index of disaster resilience, explore the factors that enhance or constrain this resilience, and discover new geographic profiles that group places with similar resilience. If your job involves natural hazard preparedness, response or recovery, then the index is guaranteed to make that job easier. There are lots of processes that the index can support, including policy development, strategic planning, community planning and risk assessment. Let's have a look at the map function. You can see that different communities around Australia have different capacity for resilience, ranging from low to moderate and high. You can look at the Composite Disaster Resilience Index as a whole, or explore adaptive capacity or coping capacity. You may want to view disaster resilience for the whole state or territory, or focus in on one city or town. When you click on a particular area, you receive some basic information, if you want more detailed information, you can generate a report. The reports show which areas have low, moderate or high capacity for disaster resilience, using a number ranging from 0, signifying low capacity, to 1, indicating high capacity. You can download the report for saving or printing. The index also groups Australia's areas into five disaster resilience profiles. Use the Disaster Resilience Factors page to understand these profiles. 
Here, you can learn which areas around Australia have similar capacities for disaster resilience by looking at the five profiles, either one at a time or with multiple profiles combined. See how these communities are grouped together? That's because they have similar strengths and barriers to resilience. Generate reports of these groups for more information. The reports explain how the eight factors of disaster resilience combine within each group to create strengths or barriers to resilience. This will help you understand how the capacities of different areas can be nurtured or addressed to improve resilience. You can use this new information to partner with other communities to share your knowledge about how to improve disaster resilience across the country. In addition to showing you the data and the map, the Disaster Resilience Factors reports also show you a graph of the factors that influence the disaster resilience of an area in relation to the state and national medians for the same group. Lastly, you can learn more about the index, including its design and calculation, how to use the index, the research behind the index, and where to turn to if you have questions. The Australian Disaster Resilience Index, building safer, adaptable communities. Start exploring today.